Argus Wade and welcome everyone to Argus Wade back at Garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. So guys, we are gonna basically transplant uh, an, an, an old tomato plant into a pot. I know from your view right now, it looks like the tomato plant is already in a pot. But actually what happened is that I got a tomato seedling. And I do apologize, as I said, I've been very busy. So basically what happened, the tomato itself is in here, this small black pot. And what happened is that some of the roots basically went into this pot. So hence the reason why it's so big. Um, but we are basically going to transplant it deeper into the pot to allow new roots to basically burst off from the stem of the tomato plant. As I said before in a video very long ago, your stem of your tomato plant has the potential to grow out new roots. As long as it's exposed to the soil, it will send out new roots from the stem. So basically, right here, this is the stem. I'm just going to break off some leaves so that you could basically have a better view. Let's just go ahead and take this off and try to support the plant, okay? So right here, this stem, oh lord, this stem right here, I'm going to try my best to get it all under the soil. So I'm going to try to like bury it that deep into the soil, okay? So that it could focus a lot more on setting on new leaves, flowers, and eventually fruits, okay? Um, so that's just what we're going to do today in this video. I hope indeed that you guys enjoyed the video that I've posted so far. Again, I do apologize, been very busy, so Apologies, okay? So let's go ahead and have this tomato transplanted officially in this bigger pot um, So that you guys could see and learn from it, okay? Let's go ahead. Okay guys So one of the first things I would have to do sadly, I'm going to have to uproot this um, It's not too deep in but I can tell that it's very much um, Established into the soil right there. So in order to properly uproot it for me not to cause too much damage to the root system I'm just going to dig into it Okay to see if I could get it off. Give it some water there. Okay. And here we have, of course, our tomato plant. Here's the root system which was trying to basically establish itself deep into the pot. Just gonna have it placed down here for a moment so that we could properly dig up this soil so it could be transplanted, okay? Okay guys, so the, the, the stem is very weak and sensitive because of the fact that it basically had to struggle to get up there. So I'm just going to try my best to support it with my hands. Sorry if you might not see too much. And then I'm gonna try my best to get it out from here. Okay guys, so I'm supporting it there because I don't want it to break. It's very weak. I'm just gonna see if I can try my best to get it deep in here. Get it in here, okay? And then try to surround the system. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so here we have it, basically our tomato um, seedling, big seedling <laughs> plant has been transplanted. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to see if I can um, basically fit this trellis right in here so that the plants can basically get some support. Uh, I don't often use those but I want to go ahead and give it a go because this will be on a veranda, like it's not to say it's going into the soil. So I just want to support it as much as possible. Just trying to get it up in there. Oh, I hope it can fit. Okay, so it might be able to just, just, just might. Oh no, okay. Okay, it's not doing too bad. It seems like it's too big. The ring is too big. I was hoping that the ring will fit perfectly um, like in the pot. Um, but it's not. Only if I fuss it in. Let's see. No, it's not doing. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have it sit on here, right? And um, I will support it with the green rods I had. Where are they? Okay. So I'll just put a rod at each end. Right? I will just have a rod placed on each end so that I could tie it down. Okay. So we will we'll do it like that for the time being. And just try to get this in the center so that it could stay and it could go upwards. So here we go, that's better, okay, than how it was. So here we have it. Um, I will still need to tie this down because eventually the tree is going to get big and it's going to be shaking a lot. So I will eventually tie it down, um, or perhaps I should. Okay, so that's better. It's more stable now. Um, so we'll we'll hope for the best. Um, I'll update you guys, of course. Okay, guys. So this is an update I'm giving you on on the tomato plant. Um, as you can see, it has two majestic, succulent tomato. I'm gonna harvest them right now in this video for you to see. Um, I wanted to harvest this one right here for almost three days now, but I needed to wait. I mean, this one is also nice and almost red and um, so this one is deep red and this one is you know orange turning red and as you can see here's another one right here right here um, as soon as I harvest this two it will start to grow and of course mature and then here's another one I'm not quite sure if you can see it here here's another one and um, so we have two more um, okay okay so let's harvest this one first Wow look at this succulent red deep red tomato of course so that's one and remember this is grown organically from a pot as you can see there's not a lot of leaves I did not leave or when it's in a new leaves I didn't allow it to have too many leaves I needed it to focus a lot of energy and nutrients on the fruit not the leaves so hence the reason why it's not nice and bushy and green it was focusing the energy on the fruit that's what matters and here's the other one we are you know harvesting also so here we have two red succulent tomato fruits grown from of course our potted tomato plant remember guys about keep gardening some ways to keep the doctors away and agris way is out